Hi, this is Marloom's Creations, and today I'm going to teach you how to create Gary the Snail from SpongeBob on your Rainbow Loom. For today's tutorial, you're going to need your Rainbow Loom set up in the staggered configuration, your hook, and you're going to need yellow, blue, and pink bands. For this Gary, I used small pony beads for his shell and large pony beads for his eyes. If you don't own any pony beads, then as we um, as I show you in the tutorial, I will just show you what to do for, you can use um, blue bands and yellow bands for the eyes and the shell. So it's, it won't be a big deal. So gather 37 pink bands, 40 blue bands, and 20 yellow bands. And then we will begin making the snail. The thing we're going to do is make the... Um, the snail's shell or Gary's shell. So gather your pink bands and place two bands from here to here and two from here to here. And now this is where we're going to take our beads and I need to grab a piece of floss actually because these beads are little and I want to place both of these pink bands through there. So I'm going to grab a piece of floss. If you don't, if you're not planning on using the beads, then you're just going to do this step. You're going to take a blue band and wrap it around your hook four times. And then you're going to take two bands and you're going to transfer those blue bands on to two bands. And you're going to make five of these. So make five of these little pieces and that will become that will go on um, Gary's shell and that's only if you don't have beads. If you have beads and you can just use beads like I am. So let me show you if you're using beads what you're going to do. You're going to take your bead and this is a small pony bead and you're going to place it through a piece of floss and then you're going to grab two pink bands place them on the floss like that and actually, all right, and then on this hand, you're going to, on your left hand, you're going to pinch, um, hold the bead, and take the tip of the floss and place it back through the bead. So it'll be created a loop, and then you're going to pull. And now your little pony bead is on your double bands. And you should have made five of those, or you're supposed to make five of those. If you want to pause the video now, you can and make five of those. And if you don't have the beads, you are just wrapping the band around four times on double bands. So now to the next step is you're going to grab one of your bands that have a bead on it and you're going to place it here. And you're going to place another one on here. And the same on this side. And this one. And in the middle. And now we're going to continue with the shell. We're going to go down. We took double bands again. And we place two two bands with the beads, and now this is a single with two bands, and then another two. Another two on this side. And then the middle is just all pink. And you're stopping you're stopping right here so the middle should have one two three four pink bands and then the outside should have one two three four as well and the top two that we want so that's the shell now grab three single pink bands and you're going to take the single and wrap it around the end pegs three times so this is the end peg Wrap it around three times. 
the same on this one. Now grab two bands at a time. And we're going to place triangle bands. We're using two to make it thicker. I know someone asked me, why do I use two? It just makes it thicker. So put two bands at a time on those three pegs. Take another two on these three. And then another two on these three. And now we can cap. I mean, we can loop. Take your hook, push the capping, and bring the bottom pink band forward. Same on this one. Push the capping band back. Bring the bottom pink forward. Same here. Now we're going to reach in here. And this is the triangle band. You're going to push the triangle band back. Make sure you're pushing both bands. And grab the bottom two and loop that forward. Bring the middle forward. Bring these capping, I mean the triangle bands back. Loop that forward. Same here. Push the triangle bands back. Loop forward. Loop this to the middle. Always making sure you pull these bands back. Grab the bottom two. Loop that forward. Same here. Push and bring the bottom two forward. The same on this one. And then we're going to loop these first to the middle these two corners to the middle and then we're going to loop this one last like that. You're going to take your hook go through the middle and if you want to use two bands to make it more secure you can. You're going to go through, make sure you grab every band pull it through, place both loops on your hook and then you're going to take the front loop place it over and create that slip knot and then you can remove this from your loom. And then you can just adjust it. You can take the beads and and if you're not if you don't have beads, you can still adjust the bands and they should be more to the middle. You pull them up. And then you pull on the three bands on the bottom so it can start getting its shape. And then you can put that to the side. And now we're going to begin making the snail's body and his um, his eyes and his body. So you're going to grab double blue bands at a time and for these two actually you're going to put three you can use three bands three blue bands on the very top two just the only time is those two. Then for now on it's just two blue bands so we place three here, two here and we're going to go down eight times so that's three four, and this is the eighth one. Now we're going to switch to yellow. You're going to place two here. And you're going to go down eight times as well. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take a single blue band and you're going to wrap it around your hook three times. And then once it's wrapped three times, you're going to pull on it and place it across these pegs like that. 
so from here to here and we're going to do that now we're going to do that again but this time just wrapping around twice so take a single blue band and you're going to wrap it around twice and place it on these two again place it on those two take a single wrap around itself place it on these and you don't need anything for the top two now the next step is we're going to make his eyes so if you're using beads you can follow step two this is for everyone who doesn't have beads you're going to take a single yellow band and you're going to wrap it around your hook four times you're going to do that again another single yellow wrap it around four times then you're going to grab a blue and you're going to wrap it around itself and you're going to transfer the yellow bands onto that um, blue band that we just wrapped around so now you have all the bands on here take your hook and put it through this loop like that and you're going to do that again you're going to take your yellow band wrap it around four times again so it's two bands wrapped around four times grab a single blue wrap it around itself transfer these <clears throat> onto that blue band and take your hook and put it like that and you're going to leave these on your hook and don't take them off because um, if you take it off it'll fall apart and we're going to do the eyes now if you're using beads like me these are larger pony beads then you're going to do almost the same step except that you're going to take a blue band wrap it around itself take your bead if your hook is small in the end and you can fit it through your bead then um, you can place it through and grab that band if not then you probably have to use a piece of floss you're going to want to bring this band through the bead so I just pull it through and then I place it on my hook and that's going to be one of his eyes and then I'm going to do that again. And I'm going to use a piece of floss this time in case you're confused and you don't, or if your hook is too big to go through a big pony bead, you take your blue band, wrap it around twice, and then you can take your, put your large pony bead onto your piece of floss, place the floss through the bead, I mean through the band, and then take that tip of that floss and put it back through the bead and then you're going to pull and now be careful and now see how we have the two holes like that you can remove the piece of floss just be careful so now we have two two holes take your hook grab one loop and then grab the other so you can either use your hook or you can use a piece of floss and this is what I'm using I'm using the beads for this snail for today so now we can start with the next step now we're going to make the snail's eyes you're going to take a single blue and you're going to wrap it around itself and you're going to put it on these two pegs again single wrap it around itself those two pegs that's four five Six. And I believe I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's six, and this makes seven. So if you're using the bands, you're going to take your blue bands and you're going to stretch it and you're going to place it on that peg. And that serves as a capping. And then then we will loop after that. But I'm going to use my bands, I mean my beads, so I'm going to switch to this one. But it's the same concept. You're going to take the blue, make sure 
all the loops are opened. You're going to place it over that peg and then you're going to reach in and grab that bottom two bands and loop it forward. So I'm going to loop these now. And I'm going to pull it off. And that's one eye. And I'm going to do the same on do the same again. So we're going to wrap it around itself and go down six times. So we go down six. And you're going to do the same thing if you're using the bands. What happened there? That's three. That's five. And then the sixth one. And then the seventh becomes the... seventh becomes the pony bead. And you take the loops, you place it over that hook, and then you reach, you pull on that, and you reach in, grab the two bands, and loop forward. Sorry if I loop too fast, it's just force of habit. So once you've looped, you can just remove it from your hook, I mean from your loom. That's what it should look like. And now we're going to place the shell and the eyes. So you're going to take the eyes and you're going to place it on the very first peg and then the other one as well. And then let's take his shell and it has to be even. So one, two, three, four and then one, two, three, four. So from the top peg, if you count down one, two, three, four, that's where the first loop will go. So here's this loop, I'm just gonna use my hands, and then just follow down. And I think that's it, and we are ready to loop. So you're going to take your hook, and you're going to reach in underneath this band, and grab the bottom blue. Maybe you want to hold that capping just in case. And you're going to loop that forward. And the same with the yellow. Reach in and bring that forward. And then you're going to reach in again and make sure you push that um, capping or holding band back and reach in for the bottom two only. Same here, reaching in for the bottom two yellow here too. Just make sure you're always pushing back this band. And then you're looping that forward. Same here. Push back the pink and the blue. And then grab just the bottom two blue bands. Otherwise this whole thing is going to fall apart if you don't loop the right way. Push back this blue band. Bring that forward. Again, you're making sure you push back the pink part that's part of the shell and this blue band. And then grabbing just the bottom two blue bands and looping that forward. Loop the yellow. Loop this. Again with the yellow. This should be easy because now there's no pink. It's just pushing this one back. Loop that forward. Loop this forward. And these three bands. It's going to be a little tight because it's three this time. And then the yellow. And then you bring the yellow to you bring the yellow to this band right here. And then you can take your single blue band. You can take a single or if you feel safer with a um, with a double you can do that. I'm just going to use a single for now. And I'm going to go through all of my bands, grab that single band, and I'm going to bring it through. And what I do is I lift his eyes up until I find that bottom hole right there. See that little loop? 
put my hook through there, and then I grab the other loop and I bring it through. And then I create the slip knot. Again, if you want to use two bands while doing this, you can. So now I did that, and that way the slip knot was created underneath it and not over it. And now you can take him off of the loom. Do not yank him off, otherwise you don't know if it's going to rip or not. And then take your hook and just take that off. And this, this is your snail. And there's some bands here that have to get adjusted. You can push the little, you can push your bands up if you use bands or your beads. And then as far as, um, as far as these bands in the back, uh, you can hide these. You can just take your hook, grab, you can take your hook and grab them and just thread them back through the back and hide them. Just continue to take them and pull them through. Which I'm not doing the best job at. But hopefully you get the idea. You just grab it. There you go. And hide it. And then this is your snail's shell. And it'll settle. And then pull on that capping band in the end. And the same with this blue band. You can take your hook, go through the side over here, pull that single blue band, and just thread it through the side. It'll match the blue and you won't even see it. And that is how you make Gary the snail on your rainbow loom. As far as his eye, I don't have a black sharpie with me right now, but what I did is I just took a black sharpie and I drew the little black dot and you can do that too. And that's how you make your snail on your rainbow loom. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you did please subscribe.